Welcome to our ninth video on word roots illustrated. The theme for this video is the Latin root umbr which means shade or shadow and one of the most celebrated words based on this root is umbrella which we use in our everyday lives to protect us from sunlight and intense rain under its so called shade. The root umbra itself is a proper word in English. Used as astronomical terms, the notions of the penumbra and umbra are important in considering eclipses, where the word umbra refers to the completely dark portion of the shadow cast by the earth, moon or other body during an eclipse. The word can also refer to the darkest region of a sunspot. In general, the word can refer to any dark area, especially the blackest part of a shadow. And the related word is penumbra. Now the prefix pain means almost. So the term literally means almost shadow. And it refers to the peripheral or outlining area of something. Used in astronomy, the word refers to a space of partial illumination as in an eclipse between the perfect shadow on all sides and the full light. In related meanings, the word penumbra could also be used to mean a surrounding or adjoining region in which something exists in a lesser degree, that is, fringe. For example, with the development of any major city, the surrounding suburbs, that is, the penumbra of the city, also stand to benefit in the long run. Or even as something that covers, surrounds or obscures, that is, a shroud. An example sentence would be, in India, the functioning of various government organizations such as RAW, ATC and Intelligence Bureau is characterized by an intense penumbra or shroud of secrecy. Our next word is adumbrate. Made up of the prefix ad meaning to and umbrare meaning shade or shadow, the word literally means to cast a shadow. And so the word means to outline or foreshadow and is used as a verb as a synonym for the actions where you want to intimate or suggest something. An example sentence would be, in this scene we can see a doctor walking towards a house carrying an umbrella and equipment which casts the shadow of a stork. Now according to European folklore, the storks were large birds which were believed to bring new babies to their parents. So the shadow cast suggests or foretells or adumbrates that this doctor would be delivering a baby. Next word is umbrage. Well, this word has an interesting origin. It originally meant shade or shadow, especially as cast by trees, but that meaning is now obsolete. The word has changed in meaning over time, probably due to the association of shade and darkness with gloomy thoughts which give rise to displeasure and annoyance. The word umbrage is thus used in the phrase to take umbrage at something to mean to take offense or annoyance at something. As example, can you recall the famous scene from the movie Three Idiots where the principal of ICE, who was popularly known as Virus, takes umbrage at Chato's embarrassing teacher's day speech. That brings us to the end of this video. Hope you liked it. Subscribe our channel and stay tuned for more such videos. Thank you.